Hello and welcome to the Lucion video tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll go over how to move File Center to a new computer. Now the first step is going to be to get your data moved over to the new computer. And here's how you can find out where your data is. Click the Cabinets button in File Center, and these are all of your File Center cabinets. Notice that each one has a location. This location is simply a folder somewhere on your computer, and that folder holds all of the data for that cabinet. All you need to do is locate these folders and move those over to the new computer, and that will move the data for those cabinets to your new computer. Now I have three cabinets here. Notice that uh, the first one and the last one, these are local cabinets, meaning they're right on my C drive in the My Documents folder. Those are on my personal computer here, so I need to get those over onto the new computer. This cabinet, however, is on my network server. That S drive right there is for my network server. I don't need to move that cabinet because it's not on my machine. I'll be able to just connect right back into that cabinet once I get onto the new machine. But for these two cabinets, I do need to worry about getting those folders moved over. Now what I need to do is open up Windows Explorer. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, uh, on your keyboard there's usually a key that has the Windows symbol. Hold that down and push E and that'll bring up an Explorer window. Now here's an Explorer window, and I've actually browsed out to the location where those two cabinets are. They were in the My Documents folder under My Cabinets, and there they are. These two folders right here hold the data for those two respective cabinets. All I need to do at this point is select these folders and copy them, and then put them onto a USB thumb drive. You can put them onto a CD or a DVD. You can even copy them over to a network drive temporarily. Whatever means you need to use in order to get those over to the new computer. Now on the new computer, preferably, you're going to put them back in exactly the same spot where they were on the old computer. You don't have to, but that makes things quite a bit easier. The next step is to get my product key from File Center. So let's switch back to File Center. And to find my product key so that I can reinstall File Center on the new machine, I go to the drop arrow under the Help button. And if I select About, then it's going to give me two important pieces of information. First is the version of File Center that I'm using. And second, my product key. Now, I need to copy down this product key exactly so that I can enter it on the new machine when I install File Center there. Next, I need to install File Center on the new computer. Now, you can download File Center at any time from the website. What I've done here is I've gone out to our website, and I've selected the Downloads link up at the top, and here I have the option to download File Center. I download it onto the new machine, and I install it using the product key that I got off of the old machine. Now, I will pause to note, you need to make sure that the version you're downloading matched the version from your old machine because your product key is only valid for that version of File Center. If this happens to be a newer version of File Center than you had on your old machine, you need to come down here for older versions. There should also be a link on the side for older versions. And then you can download the older version and get File Center installed on your new machine. Once you've got File Center installed on the new machine, now you need to add your cabinets back in again. At this point, you should have already copied the files uh, from your old machine back onto your new machine again, hopefully in the same locations again. Or at the very least, you've remembered the locations where you put those folders. Now adding the cabinets in is a simple matter of clicking the Cabinets button, adding a cabinet, and then browsing to the location where the cabinet was. Uh, first, I'm going to put that network cabinet back in again, my client's cabinet. Browse out to my network drive, select the cabinet, and there we go. My network cabinet is back, and now uh, those, those personal cabinets that I had. Let me add those back in. I put those back into the same location, so it'll be easy to find them again.
Okay, so there's a personal cabinet. I'll click OK. I'm not going to do the business because you've got an idea of how that works. When I click OK, those two cabinets are right back again. I can see the data. Everything is right back as it was before. And then I would continue and add back any other cabinets that I had. Now I will note that if you have extensive customizations like naming options, folder templates, separators, it is possible to move all of your settings from your old computer onto the new computer. We're not going to go over that in this video, but if you go to the user guide, there's a section there that will walk you through that process step by step so that you can get all of those file center settings and customizations moved over to your new machine.